Hello everyone, welcome to Gate Forum. So let's start this video. Topic is uh, basically beam and having beam with brackets. So in this topic, we will discuss shear force as well as bending moment. If we have a beam with bracket on the beam. Okay, so let's start the video. Okay, so what do you mean first of all? First of all, what do you mean by bracket on the beam? Just look at here. Suppose if here we have a beam and having some extra portion on that beam. Just look at here. Suppose if this one is a beam, let's say it's a simply supported beam. Okay. Simply supported beam here we have. And on this simply supported beam, we have extra portion here attached to this beam, which is known as bracket here. Let's say extra portion is here like this. This one is the extra portion attached to the beam which is known as bracket first of all so this one is known as bracket let's say beam is from a to b and uh, extra portion is from point c point d to point e like this only so c d e c d e basically is known as bracket so this one is basically bracket here we have c d e is known as bracket first of all now in this situation how to deal this situation whenever we have beam with bracket type of question in the examination get examination and uh, in the exam examiner will ask what is the value of shear force or what is the value of bending moment then how to deal this type of problem so the first step what to do in the first step remove the bracket what is the first step i'm writing the first step of the solution always start from here only the first step is remove the bracket first of all i'm saying remove bracket first of all remove bracket this is the first step remove bracket first of all and put appropriate a proper value of load as well as moment here remove bracket by putting by putting proper value of load and moment by putting proper value of proper value of load and moment load and moment proper value of load and moment how just look at here Suppose if here load is acting on the beam like this. Suppose load will be here acting here like W here like this only having distance A from here having distance A from here from point C. So load will be shifted here at point C parallel load will be shifted here at parallel point C. So if here we have beam AB. If here we have beam AB, so load will be shifted here to point C first of all. Load will be shifted here to point C and then equivalent point moment here we have. Okay, equivalent point moment here. So load multiplied distance A that is M will be equal to M will be equal to W into A. W into A we can say. W into A we can say here. Okay. Now here we have roller as here we have hinge. Now we have uh, removed the bracket right now. There is no bracket on the beam. Right now there is no bracket on the beam and uh, we have only simply AB beam and load is W here. We have shifted the load parallel. Parallel shifting of the load. I am writing here parallel shifting of load. Parallel shifting of load. Shifting of load. Parallel shifting of load along with parallel shifting of load uh, along with the moment w into it about the point where we are shifting the load moment will be about the point where we are shifting the load that means suppose if here we have beam if here we have beam and actually load was acting here at this point actually load was acting here at this point uh, so we have shifted parallel load here first of all at this point here at this point we have shifted the load first of all this W will be shifted here first of all and the distance from here to here is A distance from here so about this point the moment of this load will be like this the moment of this load will be like this that is W into A which is equal to the moment W into A so first of all parallel shifting of load will be there first of all and second thing second thing the point where we are shifting the load about that point moment of that load also take the moment of that load also so simply we have removed the bracket and we have parallelly we have shifted the load and also we have kept the value of moment also. So I think first step is clear to all of you. Now what is the second step? If somebody will ask what is the value of bending moment, just find out the value of bending moment. If somebody asks what is the value of shear force, just find out the shear force. Now very simple. Now it's very simple. Nowadays 
very 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 simple okay how how we can do just look at it if somebody will say what is the value of moment at point c or what is the value of maximum moment what is the value of moment at c or what is the value of maximum moment then how we can do this just look at here in this in this problem if suppose somebody will ask what is the value of maximum moment or what is the value of moment at c or what is the value of moment at c then how we can do so already we have shifted the load and we have removed the bracket like this so here we have support reaction first of all r a and r v here we have support reaction r a and r v we need to calculate what is the value of r a and we need to calculate what, what is the value of r v also r a as well as r v first of all second thing here we have load point load w here we have and there is one point moment there is one point moment which is equal to m m which is equal to w into a which is equal to w into a so what is the first of all what is the value of support reaction so support reaction go for the shortcut already in the previous lectures already i have told you about the support reactions so to get the value of support reaction go for the shortcuts don't go for very lengthy method so very simple how we can write for r a r b so this w load is acting at l by 2 l by 2 l by 2 here as well as l by 2 here and l by 2 l by 2 so w load will be half of here W L will be half of so here also W by two and here also W by two half of so vertical loading W half of load will be there R A half R B half W by two W by two that is but what about M M what about M already I have told you in the previous lectures if any moment M will be acting here so what happen here we have M by L here we have M by L and uh, here we have M by L like this this will be the direction M by L M by L. So here in the reverse direction M by L, so minus M by L, minus M by L, and here we have, and here we have plus M by L. Here we have plus. So this is the value of R B support reaction R B, and this is the value of support reaction R A. Directly we have written. Directly we have written this value without lengthy calculus, without lengthy calculation. So here we have support reaction. Now what is the value of C of bending moment? Suppose some, somebody asks what is the value of bending moment at C. What is the value of bending moment at point C? Here at this point, at center point, definitely we can get. So what is the value of bending moment? So here, just look at here. If we go for, if we go for the bending moment, na, if we go for bending moment, if we go for the bending moment, just look at here. I am writing moment at point A, so which is equal to zero, because this is the point A. Here we have point A. Moment will be zero here. What about the moment at point C minus? That is just before C. This is the point which is C minus. This is the point which is C minus just before C, and this is the point which is C plus, which is C plus just after point C. Just after point C here we have. So moment at C minus will be moment at C minus will be R A multiplied by L by two. R A multiplied by L by two, which is equal to R A. What is the value of R A? That is W by two minus. M by L and what is M? W A divided by L multiplied by L by two multiplied by L by two. So what is the value of moment at C minus finally? So L by two will multiply. So W L by four. First of all W L by four and minus L L will get cancelled. W A by two. W A by two here we have. W A by two here we have. Okay, very simple. So first of all, we have calculated. First of all, we have calculated this value, that is bending moment at C minus section. Now, what about the bending moment at C plus? I'm writing here at the top. What about bending moment at C plus here? So simply, what is the value of bending moment at C minus? So here we have W L by four, W L by four, minus W A by two, minus W A by two, and plus, and plus here we have, and plus here we have. This moment will be included. This, this W into will be included clockwise positive. Plus W into A will be included. Plus W into A will be included here. So finally, I can write moment at C plus section. Moment at C plus section will be W L by four. W L by four and here plus W A minus W A by two. That is plus W A by two. Plus W A by two. So this is the final answer, which is which is also maximum value bending moment, which is also M max, which is also M max final answer. Maximum value of bending moment, which will be not exactly at C, but at C plus, not at C minus, at C plus. That is on the right hand side of the C. That is on the right hand side of the C. So in this, in this type of beams and this types of brackets can be there, and we need to find out the value of shear force as well as bending moment. Very simple, not a problem. 
suppose take another example take another example suppose if here we have if suppose here we have problem beam here we have beam with some bracket here here we have let's say here we have beam some bracket suppose if here we have a bracket like this if here we have a bracket like this two brackets here we have two brackets here we have and here ro roller and hinge here we have roller as well as hinge we here we have and suppose one load is acting here one load is acting here let's say let's say 20 newton let's say 20 and this distance let's say here 2 meter let's say here we have 2 meter and here one load is acting here one load is acting here let's say 30 newton let's say 30 newton and the distance from here to here distance from here to here this value will be this value will be let's say 4 meter let's say 4 meter and this point is point c this point is point c so how we can remove this bracket just look at here how we can remove this bracket just look at here very simply uh, we will shift the load at point c we will shift both the load at point c so first here horizontal load will be shifted here first horizontal load will be shifted here so load will be shifted here first here that is 20 newton yes 20 newton will be shifted here first of all second thing moment about this point that is 20 multiplied by this 2 that is 20 into 2 40 about this point moment will be here moment will be here like this that is 20 into 2 moment will be here so here we have 40 first of all so here we have 40 newton meter 40 newton meter now next for this load this load 30 will be shifted this 30 load will be shifted here parallel at this point so 30 load will be also shifted here 30 newton load will be also shifted here 30 newton shifted and what about moment of this load multiplied by distance moment will be like this here so here 30 multiplied by 4 that is 120 that is 120 clock again clockwise so again it is clockwise which is 123 for the 12 120 newton meter so finally finally how we can represent so finally we can represent in this way here we have a beam and the at point c we have a horizontal load first of all of 20 newton first of all 20 newton and here we have a vertical load of 30 newton 30 newton and a total moment here because both are in clockwise direction total moment of 160 newton meter 160 newton meter here we have and this side here we have hinge and this side here we have roller so we have removed both the bracket bracket number one and bracket number two here we have bracket number one here we have bracket number one so we have removed the bracket number one also with the equivalent load and uh, moment also and here we have bracket number two and here this was bracket number two and we have removed the bracket num number two also here we have also removed the bracket number two also so we have done we have done here we have so now now this will be the final beam for us this will be final beam this is the final beam final beam here we have this is the final beam with the loadings now we can able to find out the value of shear force or the value of bending moment at any place on the beam at any place on the beam so very simply whenever we have beam on when we whenever we have brackets on the beam the first step is remove the bracket by parallel shifting of load with equivalent moment and then find the value of shear force and bending moment as usual as usual we are finding shear force as well as bending moment diagram very simple so so i have also taken a uh, few problems uh, very important problems let us go to that problems okay here we have problem here from uh, gate 2007 here i have considered one problem from gate 2007 just look at here very good problem from gate 2017 iit kanpur sorry gate 2007 iit kanpur very good problem it is written in a simply supported beam load as shown below maximum bending moment in newton meter we need to calculate the value of maximum bending moment very simply so right now what i have told you just to shift the load here at this point here at, suppose this is the point c here this point is let's say a and let's say here this point is b here, here. this point b here so shift the load at point c how we can do we can shift the load here at point c here Suppose here we have simply supported beam, here we have support reactions and we have shifted this load to this point, 100 Newton. 100 Newton we have shifted and what is the equivalent point load? 100 Newton multiplied by this load in this direction we have moment will be equal to force into distance, force 100 Newton multiplied distance 100 mm, 100 mm that is 100 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter, Newton meter here we have, Newton 
meter here we have so how much it is it is 10 so this will be 100 into 100 multiplied by 10 this to minus 3 10 this to minus 3 this value will be 10 so in this direction in the clockwise direction here we have moment which is equal to 10 newton meter which is equal to 10 newton meter so forget about this beam now this is our beam and we need to find out the value of maximum bending moment very simply we can calculate the value of maximum bending moment here how we can calculate just look at here very simply we can do this first of all what is the support reaction ra what is the support reaction ra half of the load 100 newton 50 50 here also 50 and here rb and rb here also 50 first of all and then for this m m by l m by l plus m by l minus m by l so this side here we have this side here we have m by l and this side here we have m by l this side here we have m by l so minus m by l so l will be equal to how much 500 mm 500 mm 1 meter l is equal to 1 meter l is equal to 1 meter and m is equal to how much 10 so only 10 here so here we have 10 m by l and here also plus 10 so r is equal to r is equal to 40 rb is equal to 60 first of all rb equal to 60 now what is the value of if this point is c what is the value of what is the value of moment bending moment at c minus at this section at c minus this section what is the value of moment at c minus section so very simply r is that is 40 multiplied by the distance 0.5 meter here we have 0.5 meter here multiplied by 0.5 here so which is equal to which is equal to 20 newton meter which is 20 meter and what about moment at c plus so 20 newton meter and then plus 10 here we have which is equal to 30 newton meter is the right answer at c plus at this section at this section which is known as c plus section 30 so right answer is b right answer is b very very good problem from gate 2007 from iit kanpur very simple very simple we have a beam simply so beam and one attached portion is there that is a bracket is attached here what we have done in the solution first we have removed the bracket by shifting the load parallel with equivalent uh, moment and then just we have calculated the value of maximum minimum nothing else very simple within few lines within two lines we will get uh, this uh, solution and two marks problem here. here it is of two marks here it is of two marks in gate 2007 so very simple as you can see very simple question nothing nothing in this problem very 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 simple problem here we have okay now now coming to the next problem now coming to the next problem here we have next problem from gate 2000 iit Kadak. just look at here just look at here from gate 2000 here you can see gate 2000 iit Kadak. same type of problem same type of problem very simply maximum bending moment here it is the maximum bending moment already we know in case of simply sorted beam at it that is at the center point right at the center point we will having maximum bending moment but we need to check whether left side of center or right left side of very very uh, slightly little bit left of the center or slightly little bit right of the center suppose here this point is c so this section will be known as this section will be known as c minus and this section will be known as this section will be known as c plus so either we have maximum bending moment at c minus or at c plus we need to check and that will be our answer so very simply uh, what we will do just to save the load first of all just shift the load first of all here we have beam and here we have shifted the load at point c here we have shifted the load at point c here which is equal to p so p is the value of load first of all and moment also here we have and moment also here we have and what is the value of moment here we have so w multiplied by a sorry p multiplied by a will be equal to moment and what will be the support reaction just look at here what is support reaction so p by 2 p by 2 half of support reaction will be here first of all p by 2 p by 2 and here m by l will be here like this only m by l m by l will be here m by l so minus of minus of m by l here we have so this is the value of this is the value of support reaction r this is the value of support reaction r so what is the moment at c minus moment at c minus so simply r multiplied by l by 2 so p by 2 minus m m means p into a m means p into a by l m by l multiplied by l by 2 
multiplied by L by 2, which is equal to how much? P L by 4, P L by 4 minus P A by 2, minus P A by 2. And what about the moment at C plus? Moment at C plus here we have, very simple, whatever moment here we have C minus, which is equal to P L by 4 minus P A by 2, minus P A by 2 plus, this moment will be included, this moment will be included here for this section. For this C plus X and this moment will be also included plus P into A, plus P into A. So finally this value will be P L by 4 and plus P A by 2, plus P A by 2. So this is the right answer of an answer. P L by 4 plus P A by 2. So here B option is correct here. B option is correct here. Very simple problem. As you can see, I have solved two gate problems also. In this topic, beams with bracket and you can realize questions are very 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 simple simply we will have a beam and one bracket or two brackets on the beam what is the first step remove the bracket by shifting load parallel at any particular point but put the equivalent moment also about that point only then only you can remove the bracket only so first step is to remove the bracket and second step is very simple as usual apply your method to find the value of shear force or to find the value of bending moment at the point asked in the exam very simple so we have done this topic beams with bracket so this topic is very important first of all because so many times this question asked in mechanical engineering as well as civil engineering so this topic beam with bracket so many times in both in both i can say this topic already asked in both mechanical as well as civil so many times now mechanical plus civil so many times this question from this topic beams is bracket in our gate examination in our gate pyq in our gate previous year question so so many questions here we have so very simple concept of this topic beam with bracket very simple concept and already i have told you simple concept and not more than this whatever i have told you now this much only not more than this whenever you have this type of problem beams with bracket no need to do anything else no need to go for concept from any books whatever i have told you in beam with bracket right now within this 20 minute within this 20 25 minute this will be enough for you to solve any type of question from this topic that is beams with bracket whenever any type of question will be coming in the gate examination or in any other competitive examination definitely very simply within two steps you can able to solve the problem you can able to find out the value of any moment or you can able to find out the cf force okay so i hope this video will be very helpful to you so please uh, you are watching this video on the gate forum youtube channel Please subscribe the channel, like the video and share with your friends also. Okay, we will meet in the next video. Bye all of you. Bye.